Along the sandy shores of southern Florida, each year boat manufacturers from around the globe gather in Fort Lauderdale for the largest in-water boat show. It started in 1959 with just 13 boats. This year's show features more than 1,500. Everything from the latest in-centre console fishing boats to an all-new super yacht village and everything in between. It's opulence and craftsmanship meeting the open waters. NBC Sports proudly presents the 60th annual Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. Hi folks, Lee Diffie with you here in Fort Lauderdale and you can see behind me the floating city that is the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show, the largest in the world. And over the next hour, we'll show you the latest motor yachts, high performance fishing boats, the new technologies that are really driving the industry and some brand new super yachts that are truly spectacular. And joining me on the show is Will Christian and Townsend Bell. Hey T Bell, get us going. Well, Lee, it's an all-new show, and what better way to kick things off than with an all-new brand here to the U.S.? This is Sundeck and their 580, the U.S. premier. And it's the big vertical rise in the windshield up front that creates this terrific space inside. You flow right from the galley aft, straight into the salon area, and then further up the lower helm station. I really love what's going on here in the galley because after all, this is where you're gonna do all of your entertaining. Right off of the rear cockpit, this is where everybody comes for food and drink. And speaking of food and drink, this is where you prepare food. Look at how nicely these countertops fold back to reveal everything that you need. Your cooktop, your sink, your countertop, it's all right there. It's a three stateroom layout down below and we're in the master stateroom and it is masterly for sure. I love the way that the wood trim on the floor folds into the walls and the cabinets here. I've never really seen that before. It's usually carpet with a mixture of wood. The end result of the all wood feel is something that has a lot of warmth really. So a ton of technology here at the lower helm station that makes operating a boat like this so easy if you're single handed. Everything to operate the boat electronically is from this one screen, whether that's checking your tank levels. How about if you want to raise and lower all of these blinds for all of the glass this boat enjoys? You can do it all at once, or with one touch, you can individually adjust your blind levels. And then the air conditioning, not only here in the salon, but in every single cabin, I can control that all right here with the touch of a button. Well, it didn't take long to slide into the luxury of South Florida here, and you certainly don't have to look very far to figure out why this is called the Sun Deck. Look at the size of the sun pad up here on the flybridge. This thing has been terrific. Let's go find some more luxury with Will. Townsend, we're not too far from where you are right now. We've wandered over to Serena Yachts here and their exhibit is a buzz right now with the launch of their brand new flagship yacht, the Serena 88. Now, when I tell you that this yacht is ingenious in its design, that's not just my opinion because it has just won the World Yacht Trophy Award at the Cannes International Boat Show for most innovative boat of the year. And I got to tell you, it's unbelievable. And how do you go about winning such a prestigious award? Well, by doing what no one else is, basically. The 88, thanks to its highly advanced hull design, has a nautical range that allows you to explore as much as you want, but whilst maintaining a top speed of 32 miles per hour. That's almost unheard of in its category. Moving to the interior of the boat, the sky is the limit when it comes to what the buyer wants. They can customize it in a way that you can't do with any other 88 foot boat. The sort of fixtures and fittings and layout belong more in the super yacht category. By far one of my favorite options is the four deck patio, which has direct access from the master suite, giving you your own private little area. And it doesn't stop there. The stern of the yacht is fully customizable as well. Use it for storage, build a beach club, put in a jacuzzi. Lee, it's your pick. And speaking of picks, I know you're on a boat now that has made it as one of the finalists for Best of Show. Will, it's no great surprise that this is one of the finalists for Best in Show. The marquee M42 has never before been seen as this is the worldwide debut of the attention-grabbing day boat. Powered by twin 480 horsepower inboard Cummins diesel engines, you're going to get where you're going in a hurry and when you arrive, you'll make quite the statement. 
This 42-footer starts at $611,000. The below-deck cabin features a V-berth to chill, relax and cool off, and a half galley that really is a full because it's got everything you need. And one special bonus is that the head and shower are separate, and on a boat this size, that's not too common. With a 13-foot beam, there is this quite sizeable sun pad and deck space area where you can enjoy your time on the water in pure luxury. Now, Marquis Yachts, who make this Marquis M42, are particularly proud of the fact that it's a homegrown product. It's manufactured just north of Green Bay in Wisconsin, and it combines American strength with the design lines of its European brethren. And one example of that is this beautifully curved windshield. The Marquis M42 is available in this black and white charcoal ensemble and four other colours. The hard top is dual purpose, functionality and flair. Of course, it helps with the shade, but also adds to the overall design of this sleek day boat. If you were able to apply a label phrase to the Marquis M42, it's all about entertaining with impact. You're going to be noticed and seen in this beauty. Coming up as the 60th annual Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show continues, a car maker gets into the yacht business and we'll look at the next addition to Ocean Alexander's revolutionary line of yachts. The 60th annual Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show is sponsored by Sonesta Hotels, the Garmin Mark Captain, the luxury tour watch for life at sea, and by Robert Graham, the official apparel supplier of the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show on NBCSN. As the show continues, so too does the Revolution line of Ocean Alexander, and this is their beautiful new creation, the 84R. This isn't just a radical departure from where Ocean Alexander have been, more a breathtaking precursor of where they're going. The 84R is manufactured in Taiwan, as is every model Ocean Alexander has created. And that's been happening since 1978. This 84 footer really feels like it's 100 feet and is packed with features that start right at the front. The vertical bow allows for a significant increase in space in the VIP stateroom. And the piercer bow cuts through the water for a smoother, more efficient and stable ride. With an almost 21 foot beam, it affords an abundance of space with crew quarters and four staterooms. The kids are well accommodated, but the master stateroom is something else. A full king-size bed, expansive windows that allow for phenomenal views, and at night, hit the motorized shields for full privacy. So much of what we do is about lifestyle, thinking about how uh, uh, families like mine growing up boating uh, want to use a, a boat and want to enjoy it. Uh, so we consider every feature in terms of how does that complement the lifestyle of, of people having a chance to enjoy their time on the water. So providing spaces for them to socialize uh, together in or go off and be kind of private in and also just to give them the opportunity to have a space that they uh, appreciate owning, they're proud of it, they, it's beautiful, their friends compliment them on their choice. All of that is part of the psychology of, of designing something that an owner is so proud to possess. When it's time to dine, you're not wanting for anything on the 84R. This kitchen is colossal. Full-size dishwasher, massive sink, full-size fridge. You've got cooktop, oven. Hey, look at this. There's even a retractable pantry. If you're an experienced owner, you can be in command of a boat of this size. But to be honest, most people bring a captain on board. And when it's time to relax and maybe have a little fun, your hands are full, how's this for a nice feature? Little kick button to open the door out to the aft deck and the party zone. And Will, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to make you envious, but that's where I'm headed, to that jacuzzi. Well, you go ahead and have fun there, Lee, because I found my own little slice of luxury right here with a side of New England elegance because I'm down at Bat Cove. You're probably familiar with their parent company, Sabre Yachts. That's because they've been around for 50 years. Bat Cove have been manufacturing down East style cruising yachts since 2003. But in the last year, they've done something brand new. This is the Bat Cove 340. And the O stands for outboards. These are twin Yamaha 300s, and there are a lot of benefits to putting them on this boat. For one, you need far less water. In other words, they need a shallower draft. 
Second, the maintenance for the buyer, much easier. And most importantly, the top speed. They go over 10 miles an hour faster than the inboard version. Producing an outboard model, though, is no small feat. You have to completely redesign the hull. The trellis hull that they have manufactured not only takes the extra rear weight of the outboards, but also comes with the benefit of getting on plane in just four seconds. That's under half the time of a normal inboard of this size. And look at all the space that they've gained in the bow too. The size of that queen berth, honestly one of the biggest that I've seen in a 34 foot boat. And there's even room for a separate shower and head. Loads of room back here in the cockpit and salon area too. It really is no wonder why Back Cove have had so much success with this boat already. But they're not stopping there as next year they'll be bringing out the 390. Just a little tease for you there, but I can't wait to see what it's all about. I've made it just a couple of steps down the dock before I've had to stop again because I'm not leaving the boat show without introducing you to Palm Beach Motor Yachts. Their beautifully distinctive look alone will stop you in your tracks and this is the all new Palm Beach 70 is debuting right here at the boat show with so much more than just a very pretty face. The manufacturer boasts some very impressive performance statistics too. At top speeds of 46 miles per hour and fuel consumption, get this, that's half of its competitors. They are the fastest and most efficient yacht in the world using the IPS drive system. Flying at high speeds isn't the only fun thing here to do though. Even designing your boat is an experience in itself Fully customizable, your imagination is the only limiter here. The finish is absolutely stunning, golden teak everywhere I look, and it's no wonder that they sold five of these yachts just off the plan, and now the two, as soon as it debuted, it's going to be a very busy show for Palm Beach, and for us too, so we're gonna keep moving. But Townsend, you seem to be taking some kind of break now? Will? I might be dreaming, but this feels pretty familiar. In fact, this feels luxuriously familiar because it's the all new LY650 from Lexus, the first ever Lexus yacht. Well, you've heard the term swimming in luxury and Lexus absolutely delivers that. Around every corner, there's a surprise like this embroidery stitched into the leather door. It reminds me so much of the seats in their luxury cars. It's three state rooms down below, a very roomy feel. But as you come upstairs getting out of bed, who can pass up the opportunity for an Italian espresso to start the day with this Miele built-in machine? How about a glass of wine? Maybe it's evening time and we're gonna go out to that lovely sun deck as we come upstairs to the salon, you cannot miss the iconic Lexus L that is embedded into the flooring here. It's a mix of hardwoods and carpet with chrome trim. Everywhere you look, in fact, there's nothing but corners and rounded edges. So as we walk out of the salon and onto that great hydraulic swim step, I love this little feature, this hidden little shower. It pops up on the door and you've got a rain shower head dropping down. And I can't miss little details like this hydraulic hinge. Look at the amount of engineering that's gone into that design. Lexus has done a really good job to pay attention to the details. And that's what they're all about. I race for them after all in IMSA 11 times a year. So here at Lexus, it's their first foray into the yachting industry, the LY650. It's a home run. Let's see how it does for best of show award. When we come back on the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show, we will take you on an exclusive visit to Super Yacht Village. Welcome back to Fort Lauderdale, Florida and the beautiful Sinesta Hotel. One of the many landmark places here next to the International Boat Show and also the home for our NBC Sports production team. Another landmark was also unveiled this year, Super Yacht Village. Located at the south end of the show, over 200,000 square feet was created to showcase the latest super yachts and all types of toys and exotic cars that match the lifestyle. The beautiful on-site lounge was the venue chosen for the second annual Yacht Chef competition, where a panel of celebrity judges sampled the best cuisine from the five selected chefs. And we're proud to announce Danny Davies of the Richmond-built 150-foot excellence as this year's winner. 
We thank you for participating. Thank you very much for all your efforts. I'd like to welcome you to my humble abode. This is the Majesty 140, yet another finalist for our Best of Show Award later on. And it starts here in this gorgeous and enormous salon and dining room fit for all 10 of my guests. Now it has four levels, so there's a lot to show you. Let's get started. When you're on vacation aboard this boat, you want everything to be blissful. And that's the case everywhere you move, it's all motion sensing, whether it's to open the doors or just turn on the lights as you enter the next zone, the next area, if you will, which is the master stateroom. Take a look at this. Now this 140 footer has more technology than we've ever seen on a boat this size. With this one remote in the master stateroom, I can check closed circuit televisions all around the boat. I can check the progress of our trip, control all the lighting. It's all right here at your fingertips. Now this boat makes extensive use of balconies deployed everywhere, including off the master stateroom. Everywhere you look, from the guest rooms to the bathrooms, the fit and finish rivals the finest luxury hotels in the world. There are so many cool features on this boat. I had to come up here to the flybridge to show you these terrific awnings that pull back to let all of the sunlight in. This space is massive up here, fit for a party of at least 100 people. As you go to the stern though, you cannot miss the hot tub that faces aft to take in all of the scenery, complete with a waterfall cascading off of the roof into the tub. You know, as a car guy, I always love to lift the hood and get into the mechanical side of these boats. We're down here in the tender garage and we've got a Williams Jet 435. And amazingly, they're gonna let me take this thing out through the side door and out into the intercoastal. Let's go. Well, it wouldn't be any fun if we didn't get out on the water. We've left that majesty, which was truly majestic and heading out now into the intercoastal aboard the Williams Jet Tender 435. This is a Rotax powered 150 horsepower machine capable of about 40 knots. The great thing about jet tenders is their weight distribution. The engine's in the middle and it really helps you when you're coming up on plane, you can do it level. It's not like another dinghy with an outboard where the back, the stern really drops down as you're trying to accelerate. This thing basically just levitates at every speed. They also don't draw very much water, a lot like a jet ski. It's really easy to come in and beach them just about anywhere. It's getting a little hot in here actually. I'm gonna cool my feet down. Doesn't matter that I got my shoes on because of course I'm wearing my swims, but back to the jet tender. Williams is really known as the gold standard in the industry. This is what you'll find on most of the super yachts all over the show. They're popular and they can store at a very low height, which really makes a difference in terms of increasing the interior volume of a yacht. We've got to get on now and see what's next. Townsend, I have a little something for you here that size-wise falls right in between your two boats there at 35 feet. This is Invincible's new 35 catamaran. Now, they're not the only manufacturer to create center console catamarans, but I can tell you nobody is building them like this. And this is why this hull is patent pending. They've developed it alongside Morelli and Melvin, who created a lot of the America's Cups catamarans, and it has eliminated nearly all of the negative characteristics that you would normally find. They've designed what they call a semi-asymmetric hull, and it is a game changer as far as how this boat turns. Traditionally, a catamaran will lean out in a turn, so it's a little bit of an unstable feel, and it makes big, wide sweeping turns. This catamaran leans in, turns are tight, smooth, and overall performance is enhanced. So what other benefits does a catamaran offer? Well, stability and ride, no doubt, but just look at all the space here aboard. It's so wide in the beam, tons of storage, lots of room for friends and family. And while the finish on these boats screams quality, Invincible has not forgotten its sport fishing routes. There's everything that you would need, including enormous fish boxes, rod holders, live wells, tackle storage. This boat can take anything the elements can throw at it and still give you a smooth ride.
I'm taking a little break from boats right now because there are a lot of vendors here at the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show and I have one in particular that I want to show you because it is cool. Check this out. This is Lyft. This is an e-foil. It's an electric hydrofoil. Basically, as you can see, looks like a surfboard. You kind of ride it like a surfboard, but take a look underneath. This is a hydrofoil. It's all built with high-grade carbon, so it's really light, and it's got a hand control, so it's battery operated, a little trigger here, and you basically cruise around wherever you want to go. I've had been able to try it myself, and I can liken it to a, a magic carpet ride. You literally hover above the water, cruising around, down the river, out in the ocean, through the waterways. If you haven't tried it, you really need to. I'm converted, this is my new favorite thing. Coming up, Townsend and Lee show us more of these future technologies that make this boat show so special. The 60th annual Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show is sponsored by Sinesta Hotels and by Swims, innovative, versatile and water-friendly footwear. Welcome back to the 60th annual Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. We're here at the Convention Center to talk about technology and we're gonna do that with a truck. Well, hey, wait a second, this is a boat show. What are we doing with a brand new Chevy Silverado 2500 HD? Well, there's a ton of technology that makes your trailering life so much easier. This thing pulls 35,000 pounds and we're using every bit of that to pull this amazing Freeman Cat. It's about 28,000 pounds with the trailer. That's a huge responsibility. Safety is important. So let's go inside and figure out how this truck makes your life so much easier pulling a load that size. So thanks to AutoNation for this fully loaded Silverado, the technology is amazing for trailering. Your rear view camera goes live with the flip of the tab. You see this intelligent camera view. It's adjustable up and down. I can change brightness. I can zoom in and out. I could even see behind the trailer if I need to. And then on the main interface, I've got the ability here to select different camera angles that'll show me a top-down view of the trailer hitch to make sure things are plugged in, make sure my safety chains are there. Also, in the back of the bed, I can check my cargo back there. And if I forget anything, there's a checklist that I love because trailering a load of this size is a huge responsibility. And that checklist pops up right here. I can make sure the hitch is done, the lights are working, safety chains are in place. Terrific, intelligent thinking from Chevrolet and AutoNation to make trailering life a breeze. So Will, with all this safety, I'm ready to take this baby for a spin. What's going on inside with Grady White? Go easy there, Townsend. But in answer to your question, what's going on over here? Well, in a nutshell, a lot. As Grady White are celebrating 60 years of boat building. That's six decades of expertise. And what does that get you? Well, one of the most reliable, versatile and rugged luxury sports fishing boats on the market. Built for a hard day's work, but with all the finishing touches you could ever want. Added to the lineup for 2023 new boats for Grady White, the Freedom 285, the Canyon 336, and the one debuting at the show, the Canyon 326. The backbone of every boat in their line, this, the legendary CV2 hull, which they literally designed the rest of the boat around, has been meticulously thought through to provide the driest, softest, and most stable ride of any sport fishing boat on the market. And that performance is complemented by high-end finishes that really are second to none. From the full height windshield on this 326 to the helm here, just the way everything's laid out, it's been designed, redesigned, and thought about to be ergonomically just where you want it to be. Just a beautiful light up here at Grady White Townsend to celebrate their 60th anniversary. But I know you've headed over to Mercury now, and surprise, surprise, you found something with racing in the name. I've been on the prowl for more technology on the convention center floor, and I think I found it here at Mercury Racing. This is the all-new 450R. This is the state-of-the-art, top-of-the-line outboard in the industry right now. This thing is lighter, more powerful than anything we've seen before at Mercury. It's a 4.6 liter V8 supercharged with dual intercoolers. And my friends that are big into the center console market, they love Mercury for how quiet they are at speed. This has dual modes where you can adjust the exhaust output to keep the motor quiet. 
They also talk about how smooth shifting this motor is. And of course, at 689 pounds, very lightweight, that helps your fuel economy as well. Now for convenience, Mercury's added this great little pop-up door that allows you to check your engine oil levels through the dipstick, add engine oil, and then if you want to remove the entire cowl, you simply push this lever and the lightweight cowl pops right off. And now you can really appreciate all of the tech that Mercury has packed in here. You've got this big meaty supercharger on the backside here, forcing all of that additional air into the 4.6 liters for more power. And as you come around to the back, this is what I really appreciate is just how narrow that V8 is stacked on its end. That's what allows you to put five or six of these things side by side if you wanted to, 26 inches off center. And I look for the little details. I thought this was cool. Look at this, the service intervals, the maintenance schedule, everything is right here in the engine, on the engine. So no more fumbling around for the owner's manual, trying to remember when you're supposed to change the oil. It's all of that that's made Mercury so popular here at Fort Lauderdale. In fact, lots of people already showing these things on the back of boats in the water. Water, it's the one that everybody wants. Now let's go find Lee. Townsend, the technology theme runs right through Yamaha's new 275 series. This 27-foot runabout is the largest boat Yamaha's ever produced out of its Tennessee plant, and it's got everybody talking here at the show because of one very cool and sophisticated feature. Drive, which is Yamaha's award-winning proprietary technology that is an industry-first dual paddle control system for effortless and intuitive low-speed handling and docking. The 275 series is powered by twin 1.8-litre, 250-horsepower, supercharged SVHO Yamaha marine engines, producing a top speed of more than 50 miles per hour. And while that's the brawn of the boat, the brain is this the Connect touchscreen system that controls and runs everything. Navigation, stereo, all boat and engine functions are simply at your fingertips. And while the technology is impressive, Yamaha has also prioritized family fun with functionality. The swim up platform is at water level and the jet drives tucked nicely out of the way so you can maximize your fun at these cool swim up seats. Moving on to high tide boat lifts, and while you might be thinking just how much technology is actually in boat lifts, well, let's show you. High tide designs and builds their own drives and controls instead of using an adaptation from another industry, all constructed from the highest grade aluminum available for the marine industry. Having been in the business for almost 40 years, high tide's range of products includes the gear drive lift, the ultra fast X2 gear drive, Galva gear for freshwater docks, all the way to yacht lifts for boats up to 180,000 pounds. There's also a connection between high tide boat lifts and the racing that you see right here on NBC Sports, specifically the NTT IndyCar Series. Company owner Craig Wood has a passion not only for boat lifts, but also motor racing. And he has a non-for-profit charity called Kids on Track, which encourages kids to learn life skills through the program. Throughout the racing calendar, Kids on Track works with local charities to provide experiences to children that teach how teamwork, dedication and perseverance can all come together. We congratulate High Tide and their Kids on Track charity as they complete their fifth year in making a difference for kids. And we all know that kids love technology, so Will, what have you found? And it doesn't get much more techy than this, Lee. I've headed over to Viking Yachts to check out the Garmin systems here. I just wanted to have a look at the helm. These are all touch screens. Garmin designs each individual system depending on the boat and their needs from 33 footers right up to this 93 foot boat. Now normally you would have seen, you know, traditionally dial, small screens, that's all being replaced. And these systems pretty much do anything from flipping a light switch to controlling the autopilot, sonar, radar, it's all done right here. And if that's not enough, check this out. This is the Garmin Mark Captain. And everything that you see on those screens, I'm also gonna see on here. So if I'm the captain of this vessel, I can be down on the deck, check out what's going on with the engine and even change the heading of the boat. So I am under strict instruction, don't touch this. <laughs> when we come back, Lee tours the exclusive Winwood VIP Club here at the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. Welcome back as the 60th annual Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show continues. 
And if you're one of the fortunate guests to have access to the Windward VIP Club, well, you're in for a real treat. Check this out. There's a welcoming patio to lounge by the dock. Inside, you can talk to Delta about their private jets. There's great cocktails and unique foods, and you can even have a cigar freshly rolled. It really is a luxurious place to network and just lounge around. It's sites like this that are a not so subtle reminder you have to truly be here to experience it. It might look like we're still at the Windward VIP Club, however, we've moved to Riviera. And this is the 6000 Sport Yacht Platinum Edition. And as far as build quality is concerned, this thing is like a Ferrari of the water. From the master stateroom and head, the guest quarters, and all the way to the main deck, Riviera takes an already successful base model and adds to the trend we're seeing in the yachting industry where it truly feels like a luxury apartment. As we make our way to the stern, just have a look at how many panels are incorporated in this beautiful build. And what Riviera has really achieved successfully is the true Australian indoor-outdoor lifestyle feel. But for me, most importantly, front and centre is a true and authentic Australian barbie. 50% grill, 50% griddle, and that's where I'm making my lamb lollipops. And after you dine, you can take the tender out of the garage and head to the shore. This is a feature you rarely see on 60-foot yachts. After some 5,600 builds and almost 40 years in the yachting industry, Riviera delivers the Platinum Series, their finest creation to date. It's truly a milestone in the company's history. Now, here's Townsend Bell. Well, Lee, that's pretty sweet, but I'm gonna go ahead and get the elbows out a little bit over here at Horizon with the all new FD77. This is the US premiere. It is about 80 feet long, but it's 23 feet wide, which creates this incredible space here in the main lounge, huge floor to ceiling glass, and it's all one level as you walk all the way back past the enormous galley and straight into the master stateroom, which is on deck and it's special. Talk about interior volume. You hear it all the time, but it's for real on this FD-77. The only way to get an on-deck master on a 77-foot boat is to have the beam of 23 feet like we talked about. These beautiful pieces of glass afford the ultimate view from this very luxurious suite. And then, of course, you've got a sunroof and a skylight beaming between the sun pads to really open up this space. A beach club on an 80-footer? Are you kidding me? Look at the space in here between the full bar and these lovely loungers. All of a sudden, $6.8 million is starting to sound pretty good. You know, with a boat this size, as big as it is, I'm always tempted to think to myself, I could probably handle this. And when you really appreciate the user interface and how simple things are laid out, it's obvious, especially when I look at the technical drawings that the folks at Horizon in Taiwan put together when they built this boat. The ease of use is readily apparent. Everything's so nicely laid out here from your four Garmin touchscreens that of course integrate with my watch, the throttles, the bow and stern thruster. It's a big boat, but with a single set of hands, everything is within reach. So Lee, we stepped it up here at Horizon. What you got? Well, thanks Townsend. I'm here at Belzona Boats, which is a relatively young brand in comparison to others here at the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. And this all started as a passion project for the company owner who did not even come from the boating world. His family business was involved in composites and chemicals. But this is what really got him excited. And it all began with this 32 foot center console fishing boat, which boasts some quite unique features, starting up front with the forward facing windshield. You'll notice that there are no windshield wipers. When the spray hits the shield, the water just runs straight off. As opposed to a side entry, this features a helm entry below deck head, which has an adjustable shower. And if you're tall, no problem. This can accommodate somebody six foot three, six foot four in height. Belzona boats are particularly proud of the flexibility that they offer. If you're into center console fishing boats, but you're not a fisherman, you're more family friendly. Well, features such as the live bait wells can be turned into sunbeds, grills, whatever you desire. Here in Fort Lauderdale, Belzona has brought three models from within its range, and using the 32-foot hull as the pivot point, it's created a walk-around, 
with a below deck cabin that features a V-berth, a separate shower and head. And making its debut here at Flibs is the new 27-foot centre console fishing boat. One of the nicest features in the Belzona range is something I think my kids would be fascinated with. It's this sliding door and you can see how much flexibility it allows because we're right up against the dock. Now this keeps going and the aperture actually expands to about 40 inches making it wheelchair accessible. So Will, that's Belzona's story. What's happening at Beneteau? Fantastic, Lee. What an impressive lineup that is. And today's boat buyer really making these boat manufacturers work at the moment because they want a boat that does absolutely everything. They want that day boat feel, the wind in your hair feel, a boat that you can take out at top speeds, performs well, but you can also do all your activities in. But they don't want to be limited to have to come back into the dock at the end of the day. Well, Beneteau have listened to those requests and this is how they've responded. This is the Flyer Series. Brand new for 2019, and we're on the Flyer 32, which is debuting right here at the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show. Unlike a traditional cruiser, this hybrid has a wonderfully open feel to it. The helm area and the cockpit all flow. It's really integrated, so you have this wonderful social aspect. Perfect for friends and family, great entertaining, and you can really enjoy the elements. Access to the bow area is super easy and most importantly safe with this walkthrough. Look how high these railings are and you can come through here to this wonderfully designed sun lounger which is by no means an afterthought. It's been beautifully designed with friends and family in mind. The concept of this being so much more than a day boat has been brilliantly executed by Beneteau. You can take this boat out to the Bahamas, say, for a long weekend. Yes, please. Look below deck at this double berth cabin. There's even a separate standalone shower and head. Everything that you'd need for the perfect getaway. Now you've seen it, it will come as no surprise at all that Beneteau's Flyer 32 is in the running for this year's Best of Show. Judges are out right now checking out this and 14 other boats to see who will walk away with this year's coveted award. Coming up at the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show, we take a trip over to the Super Yacht Village. Welcome back to the 60th annual Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show where we've made our way over to Super Yacht Village, a new addition to this year's show and what a super yacht we have found. I am currently on the incredible Here Comes the Sun. This is a 272 feet super yacht that costs $150 million and it is a piece of art by the Dutch boat builder Amels and it is so big that it's gonna take three of us to do a tour around this and show you some of the incredible features. We're gonna kick things off with Will Christian. Will, where are you? Lee, I've made my way to the lower deck. That's deck two of six, I should mention. And just to put the enormity of this super yacht into perspective, it's around 7,000 square feet. So that's the equivalent of having an apartment on every single deck. And when you have that kind of space, of course you have all the amenities, including a full spa. There's a lounge, a gym, sauna and steam room and showers, and even folding down balconies on either side, which give panoramic views of the ocean. And the opulence just continues as we move up to deck three and the grand saloon, which comes with its own baby grand piano, so you can entertain your guests. And Townsend, with all this luxury around me, I'm not sure I really want to leave. And to be honest, I don't think I'll be able to find my way out if I did. Will, I think to really appreciate a yacht of this size, you have to come up here to the bridge. This is the brains. This is where Captain Michael and Captain James and their crew of 24 control every part of this boat. It's all on these big displays, whether it be navigation or fuel load. In fact, 80,000 gallons of fuel is the capacity on Here Comes the Sun. And my favorite part, of course, is this is the biggest boat in our show with the smallest steering wheel. To literally turn this boat, this is the only thing that you use to change your heading. Speaking of fuel, by the way, down in the garage is the coolest thing I saw. Three tenders, four jet skis, sea bobs, stand up paddle boards, every possible water toy is available at your beck and call. All it takes is the snap of a finger, Lee. Well, Townsend, I've made my way up here to the owner's deck and the master suite. 
And I have to say, I have never seen anything like this. Consider what a seven star hotel would look like and double it. The design, fit and finish is so gentle and elegant, everything just flows. And it's enjoyable to observe a lack of sharp edges in certain areas. You instantly feel calm just meandering the expanse. The eclectic yet perfect blend of materials, textures and colours just sit quietly and comfortably together like an elderly couple at the beach. The art on display throughout the His and Hers master owner suite is worldly and fascinating. In the office, easy evidence of the genesis of the ship's name. The Russian owner, a huge Beatles fan. I don't think I've ever seen a more detailed example of true craftsmanship. So sadly, our time on Here Comes the Sun has come to a close. It's been a real treat. Did you enjoy yourself? Absolutely, and I've got to say that in my DNA, there's a strand of OCD because as I walk around this amazing vessel, I can't help but marvel at the design, the engineering, and the maintenance. This thing is impeccable. It is, and it's easy to forget that we are, in fact, aboard a yacht. It is a mode of transport, sure. even with all the living luxury. So that means we can basically go anywhere we want to go. I don't know what you guys think. I'm thinking med somewhere. Monaco. South of France, South yeah. of France yes. Let's it do works, it. it works. <laughs> Let's go. And we must thank the owners of this amazing super yacht for unprecedented access. It has been a real treat for us. And if you've got a lazy one and a half mil lying around, you can actually charter this super yacht. When we come back to the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show, it's time to hand out some hardware for the best of show. Stick around. The 60th annual Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show is sponsored by Sonesta Hotels, the Garmin Mark Captain, the luxury tool watch for life at sea, and by Robert Graham, the official apparel supplier of the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show on NBCSN. Welcome back as the 60th annual Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show continues. Time to hand out the hardware for the best of show. Now, this year, the judging panel was a list of celebrities, including Fort Lauderdale resident and 2014 Indianapolis 500 winner, Ryan hunter Ray. Now, the judges went around to the seven finalists from the 20 entrants, and they were judged on elements like innovation, design, technology, and styling. Now, the hardware is, now for the second year, this beautiful trophy designed by Derek Jenkins, renowned industrial artist. So we've got one question to ask. Townsend, who's going to get it? Well, Lee, it's been a day of anticipation as our judges have carefully walked the docks to look at all the finalists, and it gives me great pleasure to let you know that the Majesty 140 is this year's winner by unanimous decision. And I'm joined here by Greg Taraglio, the Managing Director of Majesty Yachts USA. And Greg, I know there's over 1,500 skill workers back in Dubai that are responsible for this amazing creation. You must be proud of all of them. I'll tell you, they do a great job. They work real hard. And I'd like to thank Notice and Wasim, my partners. Uh, we also sold our first 100 Majesty uh, to Chris Prasad, uh, and he's here. Uh, so it's been a great show and a very big honor to get this award. Well, it certainly is, and there's no surprise from any of us. We'd like to thank our expert panel of judges for taking the time and the hot sun to walk the docks and decide again that the Majesty 140 is this year's winner, the 2019 Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show Best of Show Award winner. Lee, back to you. Thanks, Townsend. Wow, that is a magnificent boat. So that's it. The 60th annual Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show has come to a close. We'd like to congratulate and thank the Marine Industries Association of South Florida and Informa for once again putting on a memorable show. For you guys, thanks for watching. Enjoy the holidays. And on behalf of Will Christian and Townsend Bell, I'm Lee Diffie saying we'll see you back here next year.